Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast smoothie using yogurt, fresh fruit, some nuts and honey. Okay, so what you need, you need one de-seeded pear cut into pieces like this, 75 grams of, of fresh or frozen raspberries, depending what you like and your preferences. You'll then need 200 millilitres of low fat yogurt. You can use any flavour you like, I've chosen raspberry, it just depends what you like. Um, some, some honey, but make sure it's the runny kind, not the hard kind, because it doesn't work as well. And then some crushed or ground almonds. Okay. So first of all, you're going to need to put your yogurt into the blender, like so. If there's some left over, just grab a spoon and get as much as you can out. You won't be able to get it all out, but you can try. I mean, all the yogurt does is just give the smoothie some thickness and it uh, fills you up more than if you just use fruit or juice or anything. So, once you've done that, add the raspberries or the pear or whatever fruit you've chosen. You don't have to use pear or raspberries, you can use whatever you want, but I find these fruits are the nicest, so just add some of them. Then add your pears that you prepared, like so. Then get crushed almonds, sprinkle some in. Almonds are one of the best sources of a good sort of fat that you need. And then drizzle in your honey. I like it a bit sweet, so I put that much in. Okay, and then the rest. Just to pop the lid on. You blend up like so. Okay, first we'll start at one. Then once the bottom's changed colour from the top, goes to two. Five seconds to a minute should be long enough. Then get your glass. And uh, there you have it. A nice quick smoothie you can do in the morning for breakfast. And uh, but if you're a more hungry person at breakfast, at breakfast time, you can always it goes well with cereal. And uh, that is a good day for Saturday day. A bowl of high fiber cereal to keep you full, and a tasty smoothie to go with it. See you next time.